We come before you asking you for your divine help, your wisdom, and your guidance for this city, for this council, for our mayor, and the citizens of Inkster. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would give us wisdom as we deal with these affairs. We pray, God, that you would help us to bind our hearts together in love and unity, that we may accomplish your agenda and your will for this city. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Okay. Roll call. Mayor Nolan. Present. Councilwoman Wadley. Present. Councilman Oden. Present. Councilwoman Mitchell. Present. Councilwoman Howard. Here. Mayor Pro Tim Williams. Present. And Councilman Chisholm. Present. We have seven tonight. We do have a quorum. Right. Everybody had a chance to look at the agenda? Is there anything we need to add? Delete? Oh, we add those? We do have the two votes taken in closed session. Do we actually add those to the agenda? Or we just. Yeah, you can add Okay. So it'll be um, okay. I and J. Make a motion to add the two closed session items to the agenda. Support. Okay. We'll probably move yeah. supported. Discussion? All those yeah. in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed <coughs> nay. Okay. So I and J. Items I, I and J are added to the agenda. Do we know which is. What was the first one we did? Just we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the first one. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on the agenda we need to change? Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Support. And probably moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It passes. Pres <coughs> presentations. For once, we have no presentations. <laughs> So I know that's everyone's favorite part. Okay, we're going to move up to public hearing. That's you. <laughs> A public hearing to apply for the Wayne County 2018-2019 Community Development Block Grant funding in the amount of 216477 Make a motion to open public hearing. Report. We can probably move and support it. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It passes. Okay, everybody. It's public hearing. <laughs> this is where the public talks. Um, we talked about it in the last meeting. I think we did the first reading. Oh, we did a public hearing and first reading. So does anyone want to comment, have a question regarding the community development block grant funding for 2018-2019, an amount of $216,477. Come on up to the podium. I mean, come up to the mic. Public hearing. <laughs> State your name, social security number, <laughs> driver's license number. <laughs> I just haven't seen, maybe I've missed some meetings, but I haven't seen where the money's going to be allocated. Can you... Uh, Expand on that. Sure, Ms. Fleming. So the activities that the city of Inkster has chosen to pursue for the upcoming application year, as well as in years prior, so code enforcement, housing rehab, public services, uh, demolition, administration, and planning. And I believe there was some question about what pl public services actually are. So that's basically um, the debris and we cutting throughout the summer where with temporary employees they work with the public service department does that answer your question Ms. Holmes okay any other comments or questions on this issue up here anybody have yeah i got one question um there was a 10 percent that was going to allocate to communities doing the project together last year yeah i remember that there's in, in here too. I'm just trying to find it again. Let's continue. Yes. <laughs> I know we never did any of the projects. That so they didn't. They don't approve every municipality's project. Um, the city of Inkster continued to put forth an application to do so, but we have not been selected thus far. Okay. Okay. Will we be um, privy to see for additional funds on those funds that other communities don't use, like they've been doing in the past? So if the application becomes available, if there are any funds left at the end, then we would apply, I would assume. However, we won't know until the end of that 
that application program year. So the application that was put forth last November, December, around that time was from fiscal year 2016, or that program year, for the funds that were left over so they wouldn't go back to the federal government. Thank you. So from the, big, the, the demonstration project is no longer... Well, we can still apply every year. And this will be for the following year. So this isn't the current program year that we're in. Um, but we can still apply moving forward. But all the municipalities within the Wayne County uh, Black Grant Program give 10 percent of the funds that is allocated toward demonstration projects. Yeah, we need some good ideas for those type of projects from anybody, uh, residents, council, so we can maybe hopefully get awarded some money. Is this that same money that Island Park or somebody else got? That was E-Course. Okay. That was, that was I knew one. it wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't think that we could call it demonstration money. Yeah. The demonstration money was you get to, to collaborate with another money community. Phone. Sorry. The demonstration money was money we had to use to collaborate with another a community another. On, on the project. And what Councilwoman Wiley is referring to is the money that was left over at the end of two, from the program year 2016. That's the application that we submitted for additional funds for demo. Uh, and eCourse was the recipient of all the funds that were left for Wayne County Land Bank. I mean, I'm sorry, not the Wayne County uh, Community Development Black Grant, the funds that were left. E course, they submitted an application as well as did the city of Inkster and I believe 20 other municipalities. However, E course was awarded the funds. Okay, correct. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? I, I cannot just make a comment. You got to come on up. Though. Yeah, come on up. Glad to see you, though. Nice, <laughs> nice haircut. <laughs> uh, I, uh, what I want to come to say, and it's got nothing to really do with you, because I'm, I'm doing a great research on this block grant money that we've been getting. Now, I think it's unfair because we are under the, under the 50000 that we cannot use that money for youth activities and projects within our community. Mm -hmm. And they're doing it down in Detroit and other big cities where they got uh -huh. more than 50000 I'm doing my homework, okay? So when I go down there to talk with the commissioners, I'm going to mention it. Because I think it's unfair. Is that a, is that a commissioner law or is that a federal law? Uh, well, I don't I don't know what it is. What law, who holds that law? But all I know, I, I can't sit up here and watch them take black grant money and give it to Detroit and other big areas, and we can't we can't use it for nothing around here for these children. I mean, I just can't take it. That's a, it's a falls with under the national objective. Yeah, yeah I think you you gotta have to talk to your, right. the congressman person mm -hmm. that you do not have right now. Well, I'll talk to him right now. Well, thank you. Any other comments? Did you hear that comment? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on. Let's see, consent agenda. Make a motion to close it off. Have Oh, do it. Support. We probably move support discussion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It passes. Consent agenda. Make a motion to uh, accept the agenda as is. Been forward. Support. Been supported. And probably move discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Boards and commissions. Any, any, anybody? Any nominations? Anybody left over from last meeting? <laughs> do we have some vacancies? Yes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do some more. Next meeting, we got to everybody take a look at this stuff. So let's get some of these spots appointed. Just the chair. We go. Board of review. Hmm. I know that there. Um, I'll say one term. I did talk to the person that I appointed last year, and she did say she'll do it again this year. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Warman. It's coming up pretty soon, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. It's about two weeks from now. Two weeks. Do we have a full compliment? Hmm? Do we yes, you will. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he needs to um, appoint her. You um, need to appoint her. We already have her information. Okay, I make a motion to uh, reappoint Lenora Warman. Okay, and we looked. We have a review. We, have we looked at her resume last time we appointed. Yes. So we ready to take a vote? Any second? On that? I support it. Okay, been properly moved. <coughs> second it. Discussion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Anybody else? Okay. I just need three more. All right, great. I thought we had already. Mm -hmm. hmm? What do you say? 
Do we have a full complement? Yeah. We, we only full... need this, um, one more person, right? Were, were they all appointed from the, at the last meeting? No. no, nobody was appointed. No, no, nobody no. Was well, I think he said that somebody moved, and that's why we had to make that yes, appointment. Yes, that's yeah. 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 So who do we appoint to replace her? We just. Um, mm -hmm. No, she was already on there. Yeah, the board member was already on there. She was already on there. Because we need to replace her if it's in two weeks, because we, we won't meet again. Unless you guys want to have an emergency meeting. They have an alternate. Um, she wants to remain alternate. We have an alternate. Yeah. Um, remain alternate. That's Gina Triplett. Gina Triplett. Okay. But well, we have an alternate. So we're covered now. But we need to reappoint that position. Right. Whose district is it? Gina? Whose or district? Who's Celeste Bell. McDuffie. Wait, it doesn't say. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, Will Miller, he needs to be reappointed. Will Miller needs to be reappointed. Right. The Board of Review. Board of Review. Do we have a motion? I'll move. Um, support. And probably move supported discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Who else? Um, we just needed somebody to do Celeste McDuffie. I mean, but you don't have anyone for that. Okay. So we need next meeting. We need to replace Celeste McDuffie. So. He did used to do that. Okay. She says she's gonna check with one of her residents to see if he's interested in it. So hopefully we'll have that name next week. And let's look at what other vacancies we have on important boards and commissions. Can you send an email out to let everybody know so we can be prepared next week? <coughs> You want me to send this out? We'll talk about okay. it. All right. We're going, to move. <laughs> We're going to move on to second readings. A second reading and approval of a map amendment, Z18-06, to the city's zoning map to rezone 65 parcels along Dunning and Plum Streets from R-1B, one family residential zoning, to M-1 light industrial zoning. That movement to share. Support. Then probably move to support it. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. Okay, it passes. Four two. Um, second reading. A second reading and approval of text amendments TA. 18-05 to the city's zoning ordinance pertaining to security camera and buffer distance requirements for medical marijuana facilities per the recommendations of the Planning Commission. The move, Mr. Chair. Support. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Consideration and approval to seek an RFP for Building Department Services. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Madam Clerk. Right. <laughs> Do we have a motion? Acknowledge. <laughs> so move. Support. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Consideration and approval of the Information Technology Services contract with Complete Corporate Solutions to provide IT services to the City of Inkster Municipal Buildings. So move. move. Or. or. <laughs> <laughs> They're real eager on this, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> been properly moved and supported twice. <laughs> Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Consideration and approval authorizing the DPS director to make an application to the Wayne County Department of Public Services for a permit to maintain the stormwater management system and detention pond in the locations of the Inkster Town Center at 27455 Michigan Ave in Inkster, Michigan in accordance with the drawing <coughs> attached as Exhibit A, the terms of long-term maintenance plan attached as Exhibit B, and the Wayne County Stormwater Ordinance and Administrative Rules. The move for discussion. We probably move supported discussion. Um, we get the letter saying that the mm -hmm. company is going to maintain the, uh, that property. Sure. So, so what are we doing? Under Wayne County's jurisdiction, we have to pass a resolution authorizing me to sign it because they do not go after the property owner. 
they hold the city liable because we're here and property owners change. So once you approve me to sign it, that's why I have them submit a letter to you guys letting them know that they will be liable for this. And if they don't, you see it's a, and we have to obtain it or take over it, then that's a cost factor that becomes involved. But if I was kind of concerned with the rear in charge of that. Right. 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 So does make an application mean sign it? Yeah, I have to, I have to, make an application. Yeah, I have to sign it on behalf of the city of Inkster. Plus, submit a resolution, which you guys are about to pass. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this company is like a sell. That, that's the owner. So yeah, that's the owner they're, of the company. They're, they're yeah. Okay. When I bring these before you guys, I always get a letter from the owner saying they will be responsible for this. And I always run it by the attorneys to make sure we in good standing when we do this. Yeah. Any other questions up here? Okay, ready for vote? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Item D, consideration and approval of an offer to purchase two vacant residential parcels. Vacant lot number one is formerly known as 26323 Stanford. is located on the south side of Stanford Street between John Daly and Bayhan Ave. And is legally described as duly noted. Vacant lot number two is located on the north side of Stanford between Bayhan and Meadow Meadowdale Ave and is legally described as duly noted. In the amount of $500 by Team Cares Inc., Mary Kavanaugh. So moved. Support. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <clears throat> Passes. Consideration and approval to set a fee for the collection bins as part of Ordinance 868, collection bins on an ordinance to regulate the method of use of collection bins to ensure appropriate locations that was approved on February 5th, 2018. So moved. What? Well, what? Well, set them out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we had two recommended. Yeah, we had 100 and 125. 100 and 125. I move... Um, that we set the amount of one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Board, been properly moved and supported. Discussion. Uh, it has to be renewal fee. Are we going to do an annual fee, or are we going to do a, a renewal? It's going to be a renewal fee in an initial application. So, what's the is the renewal fee going to be the same as the initial application? And do you want that? That's what you guys want, or should it be less? Should it be the same. I think it should be the same, it should be the same every year. One hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay. All right, so do we have another support for that? Let's support. support. Okay, discussion? All right, all those in favor, <coughs> all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Item F, consideration and approval of a one-day gaming license and one-day liquor license for the Inkster Task Force fundraiser Inktown Derby Days to be held May 5th, 2018 at the Booker Dozier Recreation <coughs> Complex. So move. Support. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion. It'd be great to have some homemade wine there. <laughs> think, that could, think that could be possible? No. <laughs> All right, any other questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. Consideration and approval of the Recreation Passport Grant from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. So, um, so moved. Board. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Passes. Item H is consideration and approval of the renaming of the Justice Center to Anderson Crutcher Young Justice Center. So moved. So moved. Support. Been properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It passes. To act in accordance, um, item, excuse me, item I, to act in accordance with the vote that was taken in closed session, Melendez. So moved. Support. Support. We properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <clears throat> it passes. To act in accordance with the vote that was taken in closed session, James Moore. So Support. We properly moved and supported. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Passes. <clears throat> All right.
we're, we're at the favorite part, public participation. All right, Officer Wall. Some people's favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> um, good evening, everyone. Good evening. good evening. I just wanted to come today and address uh, an issue that we are facing with the warmer weather approaching. Um, and it's a big issue in our city most years, most of the time, illegal dumping. Mm. Um, we are in the process of putting together a, well, actually we have it. We're in the process of um, creating a program for an illegal dumping task force. We've made several um, improvements and um, taken action as to how we're going to address that. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple things with regards to the task force and what we're doing now and what we need help with and what citizens can do. So um, illegal dumping is when you see obviously somebody coming into the area that may belong there, usually doesn't belong there, and leaves debris, um, just dumps it off their truck or what have you. Um, and that's an in-progress activity. So if you see that happening in progress, everybody has a cell phone, Take a picture if you can get a driver's license, or I'm sorry, a, a license plate number. Pictures is worth a thousand wor words, so that's major help in our investigation. Um, call right away the police department number. Uh, we also have the after the fact situation where uh, the dumping is done. You didn't see what was done, but we can find out possibly through going through an investigation of the debris uh, where it came from, where it originated from, and we'll follow through an investigation that way. And that can be reported on C Click Fix. Um, also, you know, calling the department, calling um, code enforcement. Uh, we also have partnered with Crime Stoppers for a reward system. We have these lovely flyers, posters are gonna be posted everywhere. Uh, you can call Crime Stoppers, they're gonna get us the information, and you can be awarded up to a thousand dollars for information leading to um, conviction of the offenders in this in this crime. Uh, we've got a lot of good things coming up. We're utilizing cameras in the city. We're not going to tell you where they are. We've been very successful in several cases where we've identified the offenders and taken them to task. And um, we look forward to the participation of our residents. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Opal Note. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good evening, Mayor and Council. Good, Good evening. evening. So happy to see you this evening and to our citizens. I'm here to, uh, to invite you to come and join our luncheon. This is an annual luncheon that the INCSA Community Foundation sponsor every year. And we get the money that we raise, we give scholarships out to students that live in Inkster. So the tickets are forty dollars, and we're going to have it at the Wayne Tree Manor on Van Bourne, April the seventh, which is about a month from now. That's the first Saturday in April, and we want everyone to come out. I'm expecting all of my council people to get a ticket for me. <laughs> so I will see you right after the meeting, and I'm expecting the audience to buy tickets. I have quite a few more tickets came. to sell. <laughs> They have good food. We're gonna have. No, that didn't sound like what they cook. You have some <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and cheese. You have some green beans. You have salad. You have dessert. You have fruit. They not. We didn't order that. <laughs> I'll make the dressing. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the old topic. That's the old topic. Oh, I'm sorry. The speaker will be there. Yeah, I was Shelly gonna tell you to say. In the time. The new superintendent at Wayne Westland School. We want you to come out. We don't want to have just the walls for her to speak to. We want people there. So I invite you to come and join us. What's the time? The time. Oh, I'm sorry. 11:30. They own the tickets. Quit asking. Gotta get a ticket to know when to come. Pastor Gene Overman. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Good afternoon. Um, Good afternoon. We also have uh, Lady McClendon from Commissioner Anderson. Okay. So, a um, couple of announcements. You have some of your time for? 
<laughs> yes, she was for a long time always. I just didn't want us to forget her. Um, the NAACP, we're hosting um, the candidate forum for the 13th congressional seat. Want to invite the Inkster Task Force as well as Voice to be partners with us in this effort. That day we have scheduled for June 2nd. 12 to 2, it's at the Dozier. So if we can get all of us that's doing this to really work on this together, it would be great. And it's for the 13th Congressional Seat Candidate Forum. Okay. Also, Operation Refuge, um, please join us. Sign up on Thursdays at 10 o'clock, 27717 Carlisle. This month, TFAP 322 is American cheese, fresh eggs, black beans, salmon, whole grain spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. My mother said I should tell everyone that that watches television. <laughs> so they'll know what we have this month. Said it would help them out. Also, we're looking for girls grades 4 through 12 for Camp Inspire. If you're an aspiring student of STEM, good grades, good citizenship, please uh, just give me a call. 734-709-7806. Thank you so much. Right, thank you. Ms. Mary McClendon. Thank you, Pastor Overman. I appreciate that. Uh, Mayor, and to the council, and to all the dignitaries here, I'm a Lady Mary McClendon from the office of Wayne County, uh, Glenn Anderson, and it's a pleasure to be here. I just want to remind you of the coffee hours. Next week is the next coffee hour, and in Inkster, it, it begins at 12, and it ends at 1 o'clock. And uh, I think you know the new location for now is 2700 Hamlin Boulevard, which is the Western Wayne Family Health Center. As you know, it traditionally is at the library, but as you know, what has happened with the library for now. So until in another location has been established, that is the location. It'll be for March and April, unless something else has been indicated to you. And again, it's at 12 o'clock at that location. Also, uh, we know that it's pothole season, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. That's a season that we don't like to celebrate and don't like to acknowledge, but when you ride down the street, you don't have a choice but to uh, realize that it's pothole season. And I, I want you to know that we in Wayne County take the road seriously, but there are so many roads in Wayne County until you just cannot be everywhere. I was here one time and I hope the, the roads that were uh, communicated to me uh, were patched up, but you know we had snow right after they were patched. Yeah, that's true. And then the snow patch, snow patch, and of course you know all about that. It's a continuous effort. So uh, for those of you, if you have a pothole in your area and it is a county road, please call 844-929 six three one one again eight four four nine two nine six three one one there is a live operator that will talk to you you will not get caught up in the prompts and all of that and then you go back to the beginning again that does not happen there's a real representative that's there if you're trying to report the road and it's not Wayne County they will let you know if that's the state or if that's the city's uh, a road. So uh, be sure to give them a call. And they're very uh, gracious when you do call because I did call and reported the streets that were communicated uh, to me uh, when I was in, at your meeting and here at this meeting. And uh, uh, the gentleman was very gracious. So don't hesitate to call. They will take your call and they will get out as fast as they can. Also, uh, spring is uh, really approaching soon. And um, a lot of the children are interested in the marshmallow drop, okay, that Wayne County does. So those of you who deal with children or you have children or grandchildren, that's March the 30th at 11 o'clock until 12. And it's at the Nankin Mill Recreation Area, and that's on Edward Hines Drive, okay, and that's within the city of Westland. And, of course, the children have a ball at the marshmallow drops, but they do need to bring their own basket so that they can put their own marshmallows in their own basket and, and accumulate their marshmallows. So again, that's on March the 30th. And uh, it begins at 11 and it is until 12. So that would just be a great opportunity for the children. They like to run, that's in the park, so it gives them a chance to run, run, run. That's what they like to do since they have so much uh, energy. 
Uh, I wish we could get some of that energy. Uh, but uh, that's on March the 30th. And um, that's all that I have, uh, except for those of you who are interested in uh, hepatitis A vaccinations, okay? You can go to the health department there at Van Bourne and Vanoy Roads, or you can call 727-7101, and that's area code 734, and that's at a nominal cost, if anything, for that hepatitis A vaccination. Thank you. If I could take something back to the commissioner, I'd be more than happy to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. John Conyers III. Greetings, Mayor and Council. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, members of the community. I just wanted to come and say hello. Uh, I'm going to be running for uh, the 13th Congressional District. Um, so I just wanted to put a face to the name. Um, if I'll be here around afterwards, if anyone wants to talk to me or take my cell phone number, I always give that out. I'm, I give that out. I'm available to everyone that, for whatever you need. So please come say hello. Right. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Tell your mama said hi. <laughs> All right. Also, Lebo. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Good audience. Um, first, wanted to start off with saying that our bake sale on the 21st was a huge success. I'm sorry for those that showed up late. We sold out early, which is good. Believe me. We were not late. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The people that showed up before the time it was done, but we sold out at 1 o'clock when it usually goes until 2. Um, special shout out to uh, Midwest Recycling for a very generous donation they made to the bake sale to help support the Easter egg hunt. I know I spoke about it last time, but you know, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> so, Saturday, March 31st, from 11 to 2, we're going to have an Easter egg hunt. It's going to be, I'm telling you, the Easter egg hunt to top the Easter egg hunt. So you got to come out. Registration is available on eventbrite.com or through the Inkster Police Department's Facebook page. It is free, completely free, but please register so we have a head count. A roundabout. Um, it's, this is a huge community partnership under the Unity in the Community Partnerships between uh, Inkster Task Force, the Police Department, Mother's Pantry, Operation Refuge, Starfish Family Services, the Alpha, Cal Alpha Kappa Alphas, and Inkster Housing Commission. So it's going to be a great time. We're going to have a whole, whole host of activities on top of the Easter egg hunt. We'll have prizes, selfies with the Easter egg, Easter bunny, face painting, arts and crafts, games, just a good free family fun day. Once again, Saturday, March 31st from 11 to 2. Hope to see you all there. Oh, I'm sorry, at the rec center. At the rec center. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also is open from um, ages 0 to 12. Okay. Who's the Easter Bunny? <coughs> the Easter Bunny. <laughs> 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 Miguel yeah, Muhammad. I got one. I got one more. No, I'm not done. You're trying. Oh, I thought you were done. <laughs> okay. A few more things. Uh, Coffee with a cop. Our next one. We had a great conversation last month. This month's conversation is going to be on Tuesday, March 13th. This coming up Tuesday. I'm sorry. Next next Tuesday, 10 a.m. at Applewood Coney Island on Michigan Avenue. No agendas. No speeches. Just come with anything you want to talk about, and we'll discuss it with your local police officers. And last but not least. Um, Romulus Police Department is doing a Pucks for Pets fundraiser to support the Romulus um, Animal Shelter, who is who takes our stray dogs, and anytime we have an animal run, they're the ones that come out. It is going to be Romulus Police Officers versus Detroit Red Wings alumni. It is, um, there's, we're selling tickets, pre-sell tickets are $10, at the door they're 15 100% of the proceeds go to support the Romulus Animal Shelter. See me if you would like to buy some tickets. Thank you. All right, thank you. Miguel. All right. <laughs> she bought us a balloon, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening, Mayor and Council and citizens of Inkster. I just wanted to pause and make this public um, thank you to one of your council people who came and rescued me during that snowstorm. <laughs> and that would be the one and only Stephen Chisholm. <laughs> and I am just so grateful to you for that. And I could have done it privately, but I wanted to do it publicly so that the citizens know just how awesome you are if they don't already know that. And also, Officer Terrence Wooten mm -hmm. was there and helped to push my inoperable car off of the road. <laughs> and I didn't have to pay $100 for a tow, and they stayed until the job was done. Oh, and I am nice. so grateful for that. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Will Miller. <laughs> Good evening, Council. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening. Uh, right. Um, up here to remind everybody about the Board of Review meeting that's going to be coming up for the City of Vingster here. Um, it's set for March 19th, 20th, and 21st. Um, it's going to be here at the City Hall here in the Council Chambers. Um, on the 19th and the 21st, it'll be from 10 to 5. On the 19th, it'll be for folks who can't get here early, it'll be from 3 to 9 p.m. Um, uh, so people check your mail assessments homeowners in the city check your mail assessments they should be coming in the mail if they haven't already gotten there they should be there soon I mean there's good news for the city of Vincent though because values are going up after a long long time of declines mm -hmm. but if you haven't come to the board of review in any of that time you may have missed a chance to get your values assessed properly to how it is with the current actual true cash values mm -hmm. so and this is going to be one of your last times values are going up they're, they're, the downtime is over with so mm -hmm. you want to make sure you come out if you're a homeowner in the city take a look get your assessments set a time 19th 20th 21st to come in and talk to the to talk to the board about making sure that your taxes are assessed properly um that's pretty much it it's a real important time this time of year thank you all right thank you mr mayor can i ask him a question sure. Um, when you say the assessed, the um, properties assessed, do we have an assessor come out and assess our property? Yeah, we have an assessor. Yeah. Okay. And when was the last time they assessed the property? Well, the the assessment is done every year. Every year. Um, the uh, assessment notices went went out recently. I think some people started getting them over the weekend today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but the assessment is done. Um, on an annual basis, and we we uh, call it committing the tax roll, and that's part of the assessment process. And the reason why I was saying this because I watched something on E60, mm -hmm. where, uh, something when in Detroit they were not assessing them value that they should have been, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. assessed them. What it was it too high? It was no, what was it too high? They were too, too high. high. Yeah. 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 So I was just making sure that we are. But well, well, you're you're required by law to to assess now. Right. But are we getting it right, right or accurate? Uh, is, right. A, is uh, So how do we <laughs> find out whether or not if our, our property values are being assessed? Well, that, that's p p part of what uh, Mr. Miller just spoke to okay. the Board of Appeal. So individual residents, if they uh, have issue with the amount that city and the assessor has set for the um, value of their home, they can appeal that um, okay. uh, before the Board of Appeal. I heard a question in the crowd, and they said, do I have to sit there from 10 to 5 to talk about, I'm like, no. You call in to the assessor, and they'll set an appointment for you to come in at a time that's convenient, from you, convenient for you. So, no, you don't have to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, 10 to 5. You. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. Shirley Hankerson. Good evening, Mayor Council. Good, Good evening. evening. And audience and friends. Um, I'm here to make two announcements. One is for our um, NAACP Western Wayne Health Fair. It's going to be March 23rd at the um, Hype Athletic Center on uh, Howell Street on Friday, March 23rd from 11 till 4. We would like everyone to come out, please, from Inkster and participate. We're going to have some great providers there that offer a lot of um, um, testing as well as the uh, Wayne County Health Department. So if you don't get to the health department for your shot for hepatitis, they'll be more than happy to give you that, mm -hmm. as well as other STDs. Um, and also to invite you to our um, next Monday's NAAC meet, NAACP meeting, which is going to be Mar Monday, March 12th at 7 o'clock <coughs> at the Caroline Kennedy Library, um, 24590 George Street. And that's in Dearborn Heights. We try and move our uh, quarterly meetings around to some of the other cities that we serve, and we're more than happy to have you attend. Thank you. Right, thank you. Seven o'clock. <coughs> Jimmyon Johnson. Good evening, Mayor and Council, Directors, Family, Friends, Inkster Family. 
Uh, happy to be here. I'm here on behalf of State Representative Jewel Jones, of course, who is currently at Garden City's council meeting. Um, I just want to announce that the state of Michigan is now in March's reading month. Uh, I know the hardships of Inkster schools, but we do know that our children are still going to school, and we would love for you guys to invite us out just to, to commune and fellowship with the, with the young kids. Um, I can be reached by the office number, 517-373. 0849, or I can be reached by email, and that's Javion Johnson at house.mi.gov. That's J A V I O N J O H N S O N at house.mi.gov. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's it for public participation. Uh, Madam Clerk. Uh, we're once again coming upon election season, so if there's anyone who would like to be an election inspector for the upcoming election season, please um, give the clerk's office a call at 313-563-9770. Thank you. Mr. Treasurer. Um, just to reiterate, Mr. Miller spoke to it, but the um, uh, appeal Board of Appeals will be meeting in two weeks, beginning uh, two weeks from today. Uh, and appointments can be made either in person or by calling into the assessor's office. Okay. <laughs> Councilman Oden. <Olden. laughs> <laughs> I know me again. <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you to Mr. Bivens, crew, great job that they've done. Rain with the snow, the roads, so forth and so on. They've, they've, they've really been out and around taking care of the business. Really, really pleased with the, how they dealt with it. And I just think that it's need to be acknowledged for it, recognized, and I want to say thank you for that. All of that. All right, thank you. Councilwoman Mitchell. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. There are two or three things I want to speak to this evening. I've been asked to remind you all that the Inkster Chamber of Commerce will host uh, on March 27th at 6 o'clock p.m. their networking mixer. And uh, the tickets are $40. And they are hopeful, is that correct, $40? And they're hopeful that um, not just business people, but citizens will come too for the networking mix mixer. Um, the Inksta Task Force is sponsoring, I guess, Inksta's first Inktown Derby Day. This is a derby party, and it is going to be something that Inksta's never seen before, trust me. Uh, ladies will be in their big hats. Gentlemen will be in their seersucker suits. <laughs> there will be gaming tables. There will be food. There will be fun. There will be a signature drink and just a good time. So the tickets are going to be $40. I have them. The mayor has them. I'm going to give them to everybody. You can't get out unless I get a ticket. Get, give you a ticket. Uh, Past Overman has them. And we just want you to come and enjoy the afternoon. It's going to be a lot of fun. We will watch the Derby also. So at post time, we'll be around big screen televisions and ready to watch the horses run. Uh, and the final thing is, I don't know if I was supposed to get an invitation, but I wound up Saturday in a meeting of a core group of people at the invitation of Lincoln Park, the city of Lincoln Park, to create a, a, an economic justice summit. What I heard uh, was extremely exciting. I'm trying to get a grip on all the technicalities, but I want you to be aware that on April 28th, there will be this economic summit. Uh, others at the table were uh, the office of Eric Sabri, our Wayne County Treasurer, uh, uh, the president of the Detroit City Council, Brenda Jones, uh, and people from Lincoln Park and myself. And it's a concept that I'd never heard before, but I'll give you more information. I won't belabor it this evening, but it makes sense to me, and it also alleviates some pressure from cities. 
So as time uh, goes on, I will give you more detailed information, but I would like for you to pencil April 28th in. Uh, we all need to be informed, and when it comes to economic and social justice, we know what it means to be on the opposite end of that receiving stick. So this will be an opportunity for us to possibly arm ourselves with some very good information that can help us move forward very positively. That is it for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Councilwoman Watley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Inkster. Uh, first of all, I'd like to remind you that the Memorial Day Parade is coming. <laughs> I know a lot of people think because snow's still on the ground, you don't have to prepare for it. But trust me, that time flies by. Um, this parade, we're going to have floats again. One of the floats um, that has been chosen is a community garden. And I'm asking for all the block clubs to get together and help decorate that float. Now, in uh, one of the many hats that Connie Mitchell wears, she's now wearing that one. <laughs> if you want to be, um, if you want to help decorate the community garden float, the uh, Councilwoman Mitchell, and she'll get with you, and you all will have pictures and everything, and decide what you want to put on it. But what happens is you do all your decorations based on the picture that you're seeing. And that morning, you will decorate the float with the parade company, okay? So uh, she'll have all the information. I'll see that she gets it, and you'll be able. But we'd like to see the block clubs come together and do that. I think it would be swell. One of our other floats is dedicated to public safety. So it'll be dedicated to police and fire. And they've already gotten on board. They've gotten excited about what they're going to do to, uh, you know, trick out this float. You know, fire. <laughs> I, uh, it, it's going to be good. You, you all will enjoy it. And then there'll be another one, and I'll let that be a surprise. Okay. All right. So get your get your uh, applications in as soon as possible, so we can you know, start our lineup and all the other things. We should have our posters out by the end of this month, if not before. Um, the other thing is uh, that I want to speak of is that we have talked for a long time about the aggregation and dissemination of information. And we have several, or, uh, several um, programs coming up this month that hopes to foster that. One of them is a uh, conversation with the churches. Uh, the clerk has sent out letters to all of the churches in the Inkster area, and we would like them to come to a meeting to start talking about how we can network with each other to make sure Inkster's entire community knows what's going on. Now, church is where everybody goes, okay? So what we're looking for is a liaison between us and the churches to carry information back to them and disseminate it throughout the church. So that's going to be on uh, March 26th at 5 p.m. at Christ Temple. I don't know the numbers. I know there's a 771, but it's right there on Carlisle. 27741. Thank you, <laughs> Carlisle. And we're going to have a conversation with the churches. We hope every church will attend because we are the best way to get our information out, all right? The second thing that we're doing in addition to this is human resources, the clerk's office, and I'm just going to throw I can in there because I am I can. I uh, have, have uh, initiated a volunteer registration day. Now, this is going to be on the 29th of March at 5 p.m. here in City Hall. What we're looking for is someone to do things that they're always complaining don't get done. Yeah, so now, if you're in charge of doing it, <laughs> guess what's going to happen? It's going to get done, okay? <laughs> so we're looking for volunteers. Every department in the city often needs help. We want to develop a cadre of volunteers that we can call, or you can choose who you'd like to volunteer with, you know? 
and we're going to set that up so we always have somebody to do what needs to be done. Now, you know my motto. It's when your contributions outweigh your criticisms, then we can talk. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. All right. <laughs> now, uh, hey, that's it. <laughs> that was swell. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Councilwoman Howard. Councilman Chisholm. I only have two things. Well, one is a two and one. Uh, just like last council meeting, chicken and fish dinners are being sold at St. Clements during this tax season. Uh, and also for low income households that need their taxes done at no charge. Monday nights and Wednesday nights at St. Clement Church until April 15th, which is tax day between 6 and 8 p.m. You can get your taxes done and grab a bite to eat. <laughs> so that's where I'll be heading after the council meeting. So if you should feel compelled to join me, not on my dime, please do. <laughs> 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 and then also, I just want to tell everyone uh, out there who wished, uh, I got a multitude of wishes of happy birthday. Uh, back this past Thursday, I turned the 30-30, so I just want to say thank you very much. My gray hairs and eyeglasses actually remind me of my age now, so <laughs> thank you all. Just wait. Right, right, right. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mayor Pro Tip. Thank you. Uh, I only have one thing. The neighbors are in Hopkins, that's uh, east of Bayham. Now, Hopkins is a, is a one-way street. Well, it's, it's dead end. Mm -hmm. And there's no parking sign on, on that street. Um, so they have a hard time because people are parking on both sides of the street. So if you're trying to back out the driveway, you can't get out the driveway. Mm -hmm. So if we can uh, have the wrong department to kindly put a, a no parking sign over there, we'd greatly appreciate it. And shopping stores. <laughs> Mayor, before you go on, can I mention one more thing? It was written down here. Uh, in in addition to us trying to communicate with everyone, uh, we're starting a campaign that's called Get on the List. Mm -hmm. And what that is is an events list that goes out every month. Um, I believe most of you in here are on that list already. And what it does, it tells you events that are occurring in Inkster during that entire month. And if you have something that's occurring in Inkster, you can call and we'll put it on the list with the rest of that information. But it's the Get On The List campaign. So uh, if you're interested, you can see me about that. Thank you. Thank you. OK. March what, you want a number? I'm sorry, what you need? Okay, you can email. Uh, I can give you an email address. I don't want to, but call me. 313 562 7103. Okay. March 15th, lunch with the mayor. It's getting warmer, so we're going to have some, some different food, hopefully. <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you people noticed the young man who just walked out of the meeting. His name is Bill Cobbs, he's a governor candidate. Democratic governor candidate. Now, I hope I wish he stayed because I was going to point him out to you so you could talk to him. But we will definitely get him back out here so you can learn some information about him, be able to ask him some questions, and, and you know, size up, uh, size up him as a candidate. Um, it is political season, so at lunch with the mayor, we're going to start bringing some of these folks who want your vote out to the luncheon. Um, it'll be open to whoever's running. We're not going to discriminate because the idea is to get the information to you. So uh, we'll have somebody at next week's meeting, at least one, if not more. And you can let people know if you run into the candidates, they're welcome to come to lunch with the mayor to address some of our residents uh, and tell them who they, who they are. Also, we started something new here last month, Employee of the Month. So I want to announce our Employee of the Month for February, which is Gina Clark. Wave, Gina. <laughs> She is our Director of Human Resources, and she, uh, she, she keeps up on things as attention to detail, which saved us a little drama, a little money, and, and some possible problems in the future. Um, and she's always like that, y'all. She comes to my office four or five times a day. I mean, I'm basically banning her from my office, but she's definitely on top of things. We wanted to recognize her, and we're going to continue every month 
hopefully every month we'll have an outstanding employee so we can we can recognize them. You know, if not, we'll just ask Jerome what's going on. <laughs> I like I like to acknowledge my neighbor Holly Skinner for finally coming to the city council meeting. She's been talking about it for a couple years. Come to a meeting. She finally made it tonight. So wave at everybody. Welcome. <laughs> All right, that's all I have. It's good to see you all, and we will see you in two weeks. Motion for adjournment. Did, did so, you, uh, or, oh, oh, did you? I missed. All, we'll the probably move and support. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It's still only eight. We didn't do fair. No, I thought it was gonna be bad, but it wasn't. Yeah, eight. Hi. Bad at all. How are you? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs>